This PowerPoint is on the life of American author Stephen Crane, who lived from 1871 to 1900. Stephen Crane's Upbringing Stephen Crane was the son of a Methodist minister and a social reform-minded mother, but he systematically rejected religious and social traditions and identified with the urban poor. Although temperamentally gentle, Crane was obsessed with war and other forms of physical and psychic violence. Growing up, he was the youngest of 14 children and moved at least three times before he entered school at age seven. His father died when he was just nine years old. Stephen Crane's Education Stephen Crane never finished college, but he attended a military prep school in New York City, Lafayette College, and Syracuse University. He dropped out of Syracuse University after less than a year and moved to New York City, where he became a freelance journalist. Life in New York City In New York City, Crane wrote his first novel and the first naturalistic novel written by an American, called Maggie, a Girl of the Streets. He wrote this in 1893. Due to its shocking description of the squalor and immorality in New York City, Crane was unable to find a publisher and was forced to publish it at his own expense. Some Additional Literary Achievements In 1895, he published his first book of poems, The Black Riders, which were short, caustic, free-verse parables about the absurdity of the human condition. That same year, he published his his first novel, The Red Badge of Courage, which brought him international acclaim. His work as a reporter. Crane's work as a reporter allowed him to travel through the American West, Mexico, and Florida. As a war correspondent during the Spanish-American War, he traveled on a gun-running expedition headed to Cuba called Aboard the Commodore. However, the boat sunk while still off the coast of Florida, and he was stranded on a dinghy for 30 hours with three other men. This was the experience on which he based his most famous short story, The Open Boat. Death at an Early Age Crane became sick during his near-drowning experience on the dinghy off the coast of Florida and later developed tuberculosis, but not before he moved to England in 1897 and befriended the famous authors Joseph Conrad and Henry James and worked writing fiction and doing editorial work in order to pay for his extravagant lifestyle. By 1899, he was so sick from tuberculosis that he was sent to a German sanitarium, where he died at the young age of 28. Crane's Writing Style Stephen Crane's early writing includes burlesque, which is a literary work intended to cause laughter by caricaturing the manner or spirit of a serious work by ludicrous treatment of its subject. And he wrote satire, a literary work that uses humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of politics or other topical issues. His, his work reveals an ironic detachment, and he said his goal was to achieve personal honesty by deflating romantic idealism and portraying humans as battered and alone in a hostile world. Naturalist Crane is known as a naturalist who portrayed humanity as controlled by their environment and heredity. Some maintain, however, that Crane is a Christian symbolist who expresses faith in redemption and the human ability to understand one another. Crane was a pioneer of a new literary realism that was impressionistic in its vivid imagery characterization and narrative style. He was a master of irony and how he scrutinized the persistent illusions of people with their hopeful expectations and their ultimate doom.